Hi, I'm Chris Franwell, Product Manager with GE Sensing. Today I'm going to talk to you about the Protometer line of moisture meters and hygrometers. Let's look at the Protometer MMS. This is a full function 3-in-1 moisture meter and hygrometer, giving you non-invasive or search measurement, pin type measurement, and humidity measurement. Let's look at first the accessories you get inside the carry bag. The first thing we'll look at is the pin measurement accessory. This plugs into the side jack here and allows you to take moisture measurements in a range of different materials. These pins here are replaceable. You do get two spare pins with it, as well as a calibration check device. The next accessory we'll look at are the deep wall probes. These are 130 millimeters or five inch long and they're insulated. So you take measurements at the tip. This means you can put them deep into a wall and measure at depth without moisture affecting the reading up here. So you can take profile measurements through materials or in drywall cavities you can measure the insulation in there. So that's the five inch or 130 millimeter long deep wall probes that come in the MMS kit. Next we'll look at the surface temperature sensor here. That plugs into the side of the meter. You remove the cap and place it against the surface in question. Now this allows you to measure at the surface temperature obviously, but also the proximity to dew point or when condensation will occur. And the meter actually will show you that condensation, wet or no condensation. So that's the surface temperature sensor. The next accessory we're going to look at is the Hygrostick Quick Stick Extension Lead. Simply unplug the, the humidity probe here, place it into the extension lead, place the extension lead back into the meter here, and then this will allow you to get into hard to reach areas. Let's look at the last accessory for the MMS, and that is a Windows compatible CD and a data cable. And that's because the MMS has a data storage function. So from any of the readings, whether it's hygrometer function, pin mode, or non-invasive mode, or condensator mode, you just press this lower button here on the MMS, and that stores the reading with the time and date. Then you can later come back and download that information onto your PC. Let's start to look at some of the functions of the MMS. We look at the pin function first. So on the meter, we're in moisture mode, pin. On the side, here's our universal uh, jack plug. It's a three and a half millimeter connection. We plug in our pin mode. Now these are replaceable pins. In fact, you get a spare set with it. I'm just gonna put my finger across so you can see the display showing up here. On the display here, you'll see a numerical value as well as dry, at risk and wet, and a bar going across. It also has an audible. So in the pin accessory mode, you can also plug in the deep wall probes that I showed you earlier, as well as accessories like the hammer electrode that can be used for hardwoods and softwoods. So that's now the let's pin. look at the non-invasive or search mode on the MMS. To go from pin mode to search mode, we just push this button here. And now we're using the back of the meter against a material to take a measurement. This will measure down to about three quarters of an inch or 19 millimeters. What's important is that this meter gives an average across its depth of measurement, not just simply the surface moisture. So you can see that we have a digital display here, and when I put my hand on the back to demonstrate it, you'll see the numeric value going from anywhere from a 60 to 1,000, as well as the dry, at risk, and wet zones on the bottom here. Very simple to use, allows you to quickly find moisture and evaluate moisture conditions. So that's the non-invasive mode. Now let's look at the hygrometry function of the meter. We'll change from our moisture mode to our hygrometer mode, and we're going to plug in the very fast responding quick stick sensor. Equally, you could put in the hygro stick sensor, which is for different applications like flooring, for instance. So on the instrument here, you'll see the humidity reading, and then you can just use these buttons here to scroll through temperature, which can be displayed in degrees F or degrees C, and psychometric calculations like dew point, grams per kilogram, or grains per pound. We also have a function called condensator function. This allows you to use the surface temperature sensor that I showed you earlier to calculate a surface proximity to dew point or when condensation might occur. So that's the hygrometer function of the MMS. Let's now look at the MMS and how to use the many functions of the MMS to do a full building diagnostics. First thing I would use is the hygrometer. When you walk into a building, it's important to know whether you have elevated humidity readings um, so that you can assess whether there's potentially moisture in the building materials or excessive moisture in the building materials. So we've got the quick stick in here. Uh, you would simply put the meter on hygrometer mode, 
and measure the relative humidity inside the building. Often insufficient ventilation can lead to condensation. So while you're in this mode as well, you can plug in the surface temperature sensor. So the surface temperature sensor here plugs into the side. And with the humidity probe in and our switch to our condensator mode, we can actually put the surface temperature sensor against a wall. Now it's going to give it a temperature readout which is uh, above or below dew point. So if it says minus three, it would indicate that three degrees ago uh, the surface started uh, condensating. If it said plus five degrees, then it would indicate in five degrees time, if the wall drops by five degrees, then moisture is going to, come, um, is going to occur. So that's the condensator mode. It really enables you to determine whether condensation is likely to occur on a building surface. And it's one of the most common problems in poorly ventilated buildings. So the humidity function is very useful, but also we have the pin mode and the non-invasive mode. With the pin mode, you can use this plug-in heavy duty moisture probe. Let's go on to pin mode on the meter here. And you can see if I put my fingers across the probes that we get a reading here. So the pins here, these are replaceable um, and you get a spare set with it. But you would use them in materials like wood flooring here, drywall, brick, plaster to give you a value of moisture content or wood moisture equivalent on, this, on the instrument itself. It also has an audible so that if you find excessive moisture, you'll hear a bleeping. So the third function of the instrument is the non-invasive mode. We just push this button here to go from pin mode to non-invasive mode. You can put your hand on the back to see that it's working. Now this is really useful for looking for moisture behind the surfaces of material. It's not adversely affected by surface moisture, so if you had condensation formed on a wall surface, it will read it, but only in respect to the rest of the material, so it won't give you a high false positive. But you can use both the non-invasive and pin mode to give you some form of diagnostics. So if the moisture with pins reads high and with non-invasive technology reads low, that would indicate the moisture is only on the surface. And the most likely cause of that is condensation. But one of the other great things you can use the non-invasive mode on the MMS for is for looking for moisture beneath coverings. And these would be things like ceramic tile or vinyl tile on either a wall or a floor. So in this case, we'll look at some vinyl tile. And we place the meter on here, approximately a 30 degree angle. We can lift the meter and move it from area to area. Now, if it finds excessive moisture, you'll hear a bleeping noise, or an audible noise, an alarm. And uh, then you can do some further investigations with products like our hammer electrode.